In this video, we will see how you can use hierarchy feature in Incarta. So let's look at this HR schema. By the way, we also ship this with Incarta. So you should have access to HR schema as well as these two tables uh, if you have fresh install of Incarta. There's an employee table here. And in this table, I have uh, employee ID and manager ID, right? So for an employee who is the manager, that relationship exists in this table. Now to use hierarchy feature, there's one thing I need to do, which is I need to create a self join for this table. What that means is I have to create a join between uh, employee.manager ID and employee.employee ID. So this is a self join. I'm creating a join for the same table where manager ID is in the left side and employee ID is here. Once you create this self join, you can see it here, employee joining to employee table. You will be able to use a hierarchy feature in Incarta. So let's see how you can use it now. Let's say I just want to see in a simple hierarchy how it looks like. Now uh, I selected aggregated table. Uh, make sure you have turned uh, merge columns on. And then let's bring in employee full name. And then let's bring in salary as well, employee salary. There you go, right? Now to turn on hierarchy, all you need to do is make sure you specify a hierarchy depth here. So let's enter four, for example. I want to see all the hierarchical till level four. Now, if I expand this, I will see that under Stephen King, these are the direct report people who report to Stephen King directly, and I can expand it and so on. And on the right side, showing you salary of each employee which reports to Stephen. But in this case, showing you total actually, total for Adam. If I expand this under Adam, you can see all the employees reporting to Adam and their salary, and then total reports up here for this guy. Now, I see that Adam is being shown here as well, and if I need to hide that, all I need to do is uh, exclude parents. Once I do that, now under Adam, you don't see his name again, just direct employees, right? And showing me salary for each employee under Adam and then total it up and then show it in front of Adam. Pretty useful, let's save this. And if you need to expand it by default, all you need to do is uncheck collapsed and there you go. Now it's just expanding it by default. Now, this also gives you uh, one more filter that you can use. So, for example, here, if I select full name and uh, say is descendant, and let's do Adam Flip and click on apply. So, now this is filtering data for Adam Flip and all the employees who reports to Adam. And, of course, I can remove this. Now, go, go back this way, right? So uh, you can do it for any employee. So for example, you have Nina under which you have two direct uh, reporting and then the other managers under Nina. So if I go back here and uh, do this filter, let's apply this filter. Now, now you see all the direct employees of Nina as well as other managers who report to Nina. Now this has uh, one more advantage, uh, which is uh, let's say all these employees are sales uh, sales people, okay? And you have a sales table where you have a column called uh, salesperson ID, right? Now I can join sales table to employee table, right? This is the join here. You have a sales dot salesperson ID is equal to employee dot employee ID. Uh, this this adds huge value in terms of doing analysis like okay i have a sales org and for that particular org i want to see the total sales you can create dashboards like that literally so let's look at this so maybe let, let me go back to this dashboard again and let's add add an uh, another table here or you know what maybe just i can just go back here let me just remove this and uh, since there's a join between sales uh, table and uh, employee table in HR, I can just bring in among from sales table, add it here. There you go. Now it's showing me sales for a particular manager, total sales that all the sales persons have done 
and the total sales under random right that's huge value in terms of doing analysis where you want so, so let's collapse all and then uh, let's bring in uh, i think if you do this it should expand so let me refresh it okay so it, it shows you total sales for all of them right now if i click on for example i want to see all the sales only by adam so it's showing me sales all the sales under adam sorg if i want to do this uh, under uh, let's do this let's set the setting to collapsed done and now you can see all the direct employees so for example if i click on nina then you will see that all the employees who reports to nina and all the manager everything shows up here i can remove this and then expand it further and if i add another aggregated table where i am doing say let me add this and let's do say i am doing category per category and then uh, amount let's save this now if i click on any of these managers this sales for per category also is going to show me total sales for that particular manager as well it will filter it by that so here i have total sales listed here it's 17 million this here also it's 17 million hope this helps